Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. The dynamic duel is together. Mm. I'm your host. This dysfunctional, dysfunctional world. And I'm your boy, Sid, a.k.a. Mr. Let's Talk. So let's talk. What are we talking about today? The differences between mm. women mm -hmm. and men. Ooh. How many differences mm. are there? What are the differences between women mm -hmm. and men? It's a gang over. Really? It's a gang over. I mean... It can't be too many because they think we're equal. Nah, we not. Okay, listen. <laughs> we not equal. Let's, let's just flip that off the top. And I ain't talking about in no disrespectful way. I'm not talking about in an inferior way. I'm not talking mm. about in a superior way. Mm. I'm just saying men and women are different. Yes, we are human. Absolutely. Yeah, we both breathe there. You know what I'm saying? Right. We are human and all that. So let's get that basicness out the way. 70% of water. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, five fingers on one hand. You know what I'm saying? Like, we Some. Did, right. Well, I mean, I'm just saying. Right. Some. Absolutely. absolutely. Most, we, don't want to defend, we don't want to offend anyone who's missing. Right. Any. Absolutely. You're right. You're correct. So, but y'all get, y'all get what I was saying. Right. So, but I think the differences start to apply up here. Right. So the basic core standards of both genders is what makes them different. And I'm talking about just the basic, you know what I'm saying? Whatever do you mean, Sid? See that bug over there? Mm -hmm. A man gonna go, ugh! See that bug over there? A woman gonna be like, ah! Bruh, go, ugh, that bug. That's the difference. Can a woman do it? Yes. Will she do it if she have to? Yes. Mm -hmm. If she had to, if she had to, like, maybe, you know, maybe about to crawl on her or the, kid. or the kids. Yeah, yeah. she'll do it, yeah. yes. Yeah. But the difference in that right there, her first option, and it's not bad her, because she knows she got somebody who'll do it for her. Her first thought is going to be, hey, go handle that. Do it for her. And our first thought going to be, okay. That's the difference right there. So we're mindless robots? It's not mindless robots, but our thought process is to protect and provide. Protect. If we feel like provide. she's asking us to go get that bug, go get that bug. We're going to go get it. Because we feel like that bug is making her feel some kind of way. We ain't saying terrified or... but. She uncomfortable because that bug is over there. Hmm. Us being the man, we're going to go get that bug. Now, we can't tell her, oh, no, nah, babe, I'm scared of that bug, too. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Now, she's going to be like, what? Check. It, it, red flag. Like you said, check. That's one. That's one. <laughs> you know Remember what I'm that time we was doing live. Mm. And that bug flew across the screen. And, and your weak ass couldn't even get the bug. Right. Oh, but you want to yell at me in my face. Oh, but you were scared of that bug that day in the garage. Oh, oh she's going to be angry. Right. And all your boys like, hold on, bro. I thought you was a gangster killer thug. <laughs> right. But you scared of a bug. Right. You know what I'm saying? So if she going to throw that in your face and you're going to be like, you'll be sitting there looking stupid like, no, I ain't. I ain't scared of the bug. Right. Now from that point on, you killing everything moving. All the bugs, the insects, shit that ain't even there. that you think is there. Just to prove a point. You know what I'm saying? Ladybugs and everything yeah. getting it. Like, what? It's a man eating ladybugs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's a bad motherfucker. <laughs> I had to get him for you got me. He said the man eating ladybugs. Exactly though. You know. I'm sorry. Hey. Right. I'm sorry. But yeah, man. All right. So, mm, mm, mm. so besides physically, mm -hmm. I do agree. Mentally, a lot of men and a lot of women are different. Mm -hmm. What we value mm -hmm. is different. Yes. Men want pretty, caring, peace, sex. Women want finance, good looks, education, great job, benefits, children. Do they, for the most part, all the things that men want, not value, not value, want, it's only because we know women like it. Such as? Cars. Fancy fancy cars. Fancy cars. Uh, some men like to drive fancy cars. No. Men but like only uh, to uh, attract. That's what I'm saying. Mm. Only to it. Because we know that women like fancy cars. Okay, now men and like. It wasn't proven. And gold digging pranks prove right, it all, all the time. time. And, but men like fast cars. 
Fast. Women like fancy cars. Right. You see what I'm saying? So a man will go out and get a Lamborghini because it's fast and fancy because he know that's what a woman like. Right. If it, if it wasn't, he would just go and get like an old 64 Dodge or something. Old school. That's a beater, but it's fast. Or he that, might, you see what I'm saying? You need to make it fast. Well, right. Whereas a Lambo, but, you just buy it as fast. Right, and it's fancy. He well, knows that's, that's the car that women like. Fast. Right, but he ain't going to go out and get a Monte Carlo. Mm, and even though he can tune that up and make yeah, it fair, yeah. women don't like that car. It look old. You see what I'm saying? But if so, you put some things on it, they come running. Well, yeah, that's different because now you're making it shiny. <laughs> and that's a whole other conversation. <laughs> women like shiny <laughs> shit. You know, am I right? You, bruh, that, like you said, you put them things on there. Put them things that they coming. If you build it, they will come. <laughs> put them things on that car. They coming. We're not saying all. No. We're not saying we saying the ones who like that. Most. The one and most like shiny things. See? All of them like shiny things. All of them may not like the rims on the car, but all of them like the jewelry. Mm. They like the, the money holder. Mm. It was in it. You mm. see what I'm mean? saying? So they definitely like the shiny stuff. They, they like, like the, the plastic. Dude, they mm. like the dude who walk in with the black turtleneck, with the necklace. With the gold, because it's shiny. You see what I'm saying? And it shows on that black, Nino on, that, on the Nino Brown stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The all black, all black with the necklace on. With the necklace on. Boom, that's shiny. A couple, couple ripped up arms. Mm -hmm. You know, they like the eye candy. Boom. We like the eye candy. Boom. It, it, that's women, how, women aren't going to pay for it, though. Yeah, well, no. They're not. They, they feel like because they look, and for whatever reason, mm hmm I don't want this comment to be misscrewed in any kind of way. Okay. People should have confidence in themselves. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. The yep. woman should be realistic. All y'all are not tens, nines, or eights, or even close to sixes. Mm -hmm. A lot of y'all. Mm -hmm. Hey, I may not be the prettiest thing in the bunch. Mm -hmm. I know I'm not a ten. I know that for I a fact. I know I'm not trip. a ten. I don't even trip. I know I ain't a nine. I ain't tripping off that neither. But see, that's me. The, 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 I don't know if you've seen it. The video I made would be you and, and Dash. Yeah. I haven't seen the whole video. It's, it's you a, put it out? Yeah. It's, just a, little, it's a short. It's okay. a short. Okay. And I said, this is how men check our weight. Remember the, the part where I was like, we all six feet? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, what I said? 200. Well, before, before I said the 200, I said 180. I 190. said 170, 180, 190. Right. And you were like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm -mm. mm -mm. And bro was looking at me like... Really, bro? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is how men do. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna lie to well, y'all. Say cap, so we ain't gonna cap to each other. Y'all was letting me know off the rip, I mean, and I was just trying to go. I was just basically saying we all at least. But you know what I'm saying? Even with 170, 180, 190, I was like, mm -mm, no, bro. I was like, okay, yeah, we all at least 200. 200. And then everybody was like, well, yeah, okay. We'll, we'll take that. But that's how men gauge. You know what I'm saying? That's right. how we do. We ain't gonna sugarcoat it with each other. We ain't gonna because y'all could have went with it, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, no. <laughs> On camera, no, 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 bro. Mm -mm. Ain't none of us in here mm -mm. one seventy. No, and I was trying to say we was out at least that, but y'all mm -mm. were like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. that's how men do. Yeah, we we, we do have a different reality, we, right? We, we live in a different base, right? And, and I say that to because we were talking about men ain't gonna say we tens, and it's okay to think that you 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 like be confident and you love good. your body and all you that. You can look good and not be a high number, right? And to, to run around thinking, oh, I'm a 10, I'm a 10, it's like... So then you feel... Uh, when, when, you, when, you, when you brainwash yourself... On to both what, sides, too. On both sides. To believe that you're higher than what you are, you feel like men should cater or women should cater. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When, in fact, you won't get those type of things because you are not that equivalent. Mm -hmm. Some people, some, some women, some women, maybe a few men, Mm -hmm. Feel like a Beyonce is a ten. I still don't feel like a Beyonce is a ten. Absolutely not. Have I seen a ten? Absolutely not. That's a good question. I, I can I can say without a doubt that you ain't never seen. I've a never ten. seen a ten. I've never seen a woman. I can probably go with that's that. a ten because I, I, because my it, wife is a nine point nine. Because if they were like real real fine, they point got, nine, they got nine, something nine, nine, messed nine. up. Well, I just never like, messed up teeth. Right, it's it's something, or right? Everybody they might not be tall enough, mm -hmm. or thick enough, mm -hmm. or they might be light skinned or they might mm -hmm. be dark skin, or they might have big feet or mm -hmm. little feet. Ooh. Like whatever your quirk is, quirk. Remember those. I like that. Whatever your quirk is on, on people, this is what you measure people up against. Mm -hmm. So if mm -hmm. a woman feels like she's a ten to yourself. Please do not express that exterior thought.
to other people who might not feel like you are a 10. Now, with that being said, if I got with a lady, when I get with another lady, she's fine enough for me. Mm -hmm. She's pleasing to these eyes. Mm -hmm. And then I was also thinking, you know, mm -hmm. on the way over here, this thought ran through my head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so like, women don't care. Or maybe they feel like they're trying to be equal with men that have a, lot, a high body count. The difference is a lot of men will fantasize about a woman who's overly sexual because it seems like she would just be so much fun in the bedroom. But nine out of 10, nine out of 10, you take a group of 10 men and keep sectioning them off. Nine out of 10 would not want to marry that type of woman because they worry about one, some of them worry whether or not she's giving it to everybody. Two, they worry about, hmm, if it wasn't that hard for me to get it, would it be hard for hmm. somebody else to get it? Right. If I that, took her from somebody, even though y'all don't think we think like this, what if somebody takes her from me? And that, And that's a very real thing. A very real thing, right? But now, women think about that sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes. Like, okay, I took him from somebody else. And they'll latch on to you so nobody else can take you from them. You see what I'm saying? Because they understood how the game went. They understand the assignment for them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, they won the game. They got what they wanted. They got to make sure nobody else backdoor them the same way they backdoor somebody else. True. So, yeah. And also, speaking to that point, um, it's not the same a woman who sleeps with 10 men and a man who sleeps with 10 women is not the same. I'm going to tell you why. In the shortest way possible. It's going to... Listen. You know how hard it is for a man to have sex with 10 women? It's very hard. Depending on what he looks like. Even... Okay. Even with what he looked like because they said... Oh, I wish I could remember because they always want to put up stats and videos so I can, you know what I'm saying, give people the credit. <laughs> but look, they said the best of the best of the best men, looking men, swole, all that, get eight out of five to nine women. They'll, out of ten. They'll get eight and a half to nine out of ten. And this is the best of the best of the best, right? Okay. okay, cool. I mean, because you even have people who may not like whoever it might be, whoever women deem to be hot. You know what I'm saying? Like The Rock or Idris Elba. You got some women who don't find them attractive. So even the best of the best by society standards ain't hitting them all. Okay. So if a man does get 10, one, how many women did he have to go through before he got those 10? And two, 23. His, his, his boys going to be looking at him like, hell yeah, bro. Even the women going to be looking at him like, hell yeah, bro. In baseball, three out of 10 is a good average. That's the 300 average. Think about that. In baseball, baseball is so hard that three out of 10 is a good stat. In dating, if a man get three out of ten, that's three hundred. He's batting three hundred. That is a good stat. That's Hall of Fame numbers. If he get ten out of ten, he damn near guaranteed to go Hall of Fame. The women is looking at him like, oh hell yeah, I want a piece of him, because mm -hmm. now he worked and made himself a somebody. If a woman gets smashed by ten dudes, that's not an accomplishment because of how easy it is for women to have sex with men. A woman can walk out the door and get ten men in ten minutes if it's that kind of traffic in front of the house. I'm saying. She could pick out 10 men just like that, just that quick. So it's not an accomplishment for them. It's an accomplishment for us. That's why it's not looked at the same in society standards. See, I was going to go a different route. I was going to say, if a woman slept with 10 dudes, she can't get all 10 of them pregnant. No. But but I'm but just, like, if a man sleep with 10 women, mm -hmm. he, oh, I, I can, I, he can get all 10 of them pregnant. Yeah. He can get all 10 of them pregnant. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, and that's definitely because like one a way to woman get pregnant, she's only pregnant by one of them, right? Then the rest of them are just duds. Yes, but like well, a dude, yeah. mm -hmm. he still shooting. Mm -hmm. You get it, you get it, you get it, you get it. Yeah, but but well, yeah, and that's definitely another way to look at the differences, right? But I just want to point that out because of how hard it is. And I'm talking about we're talking about the average man, right? But then the statistics say that. Women are sleeping with the same men. Well, yeah, because they say 20% of the men produce 80% of the kids in communities. That's because those 20% of men are the highest earning men in that particular community. You see what I'm saying? And they don't want producing all the kids. 
and they not hitting the 10 out of 10 rate. Nah. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, if a man do hit 10 out of 10, he looked at it as a somebody, or he got something, he got some money, he got the look, he got, he got something. something going. Right. Okay, as they say, women look, women like a man who has a future. Men don't like women who has a past. Mm. Think about that. Women like men who has a future. So, so let me be men don't like women who got a past. When I say I understand women have a past, because like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm in my forties. Right now, if I was in my twenties mm -hmm. and she had as many bodies as some of these forty year olds, then I probably wouldn't mess with her. But me in my forty, mm -hmm. I understand that I was the dude or half of the dude or part of the population giving them their past. Right, but okay, so. Would you date a Britney Renner? I would. Mm. I wouldn't fall in love Ooh. with a Britney Renner, but I would date her, yeah. I would okay. Date her. I'd give any woman a chance. That says a lot, then. I wouldn't go near her at all. <laughs> I would crawl the street from a Britney Renner. Like, if I seen her walking, I'd crawl the street. You know, and, and I'm talking about if I was single. I would wouldn't, knowing what we know, I would want no part to that woman. Zero, <laughs> because she tells you what she about. Yeah. So any man who go into that knowingly is 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 open for whatever comes to him. Right. And it's like I just couldn't see myself for me. And right. I understand I get there's that. gonna be people who are gonna be like, I you know what, that. I'm gonna take my chance. I mean, but like like I said, like I, I'm a I'm a connoisseur of beautiful things. And I understand beautiful women have been sought after by the, oh. the, the, the high the high the high the high class guys. Well that's the problem. I don't see her as beautiful. Uh, that's the problem. Okay. I don't okay. see no Physically, I see her as physically beautiful. I can't, I, I can't see her as physically beautiful, and that's the problem. Once again, I understand what's in, what would be in front of me, right? right. Like I'm, I couldn't say that she's ugly, but because of the things she did, you and don't she look do when she talk right. about, she's not attractive to me at gotcha. all. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. At all, gotcha. Mm. gotcha. Ooh. Mm 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 mm. Because mm. I, I look at it like if I didn't know her, mm -hmm. like if I was one of them dudes that never be on the internet, mm -hmm. never be on, you know, whatever. And I'd just walk past her, she would be eye appealing to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then she'd be like, oh, and we get to talking. And she's like, oh, yeah, I wrote a book. And I get curious and I go read this book. Then I might not be too into her when I get back home that day. Well, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Well, okay. So I got to correct it then because absolutely. If, if I was single and I didn't know who she was and we met somewhere, okay, cool. Yes. Yes. Okay, anybody got eyes can see that she's not ugly. Right. But the problem is we know who she is. Right. You know what I'm saying? And we know the things that she talk about. So when I ask you, would you date her? That's what I mean. Like, with okay. the things that, okay. that we know about, about her, would you date her? And that's why I was like, any man who would do that, knowing what she's about, it's a brave man. Or maybe he feel like, you know what, I can, I can, I can change her, I can deal with her, mm -hmm. or I can show her that there's men who can handle that. True, true. Like, like a project. Like like women take on men mm. as projects. Some men take on women as projects. Right. We we, we right. both do that. Oh, that's. A, I know I do that. I, a, I, I, uh, I, I I take on some women as projects. I okay, so that. let me ask you this then, and All this right. is just like you know having fun with it. If you dated a, a Britney Renner, what type of a project would that be? As far as like. Uh, historical monuments that was built. Would that be like the Taj Mahal? Would that be the what's it called the Burj Khalifa in Dubai? Would that be the you know what I'm saying? Like if you dated somebody like that, not necessarily Britney Renner, but somebody like that, what, be, what type it, of project would that be? It'd be like building the Superdome. Ooh, ooh, it'd be legendary. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I like that. I like that. Yeah, like the Superdome. The Superdome. Yes. yes. Mm, mm, mm. That's that's a good one though, for real. <laughs> because that's that's mm. such a big project, like you said, it's so legendary, like so many games and you know what I'm saying? And I guess that'd be the same thing dating or chick like that. So many games, you know what I'm saying? So many players, <laughs> so many players right. traded here and there. Right. Uh drama, excitement, the, 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 you know what I'm saying? The, yeah, like, the owner the owner just wanted to relocate. Yeah, yeah. You know, right. trade the quarterback, like what? Right. 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 Yeah, that's that's a lot though. That's definitely a lot. Everybody can't deal with that. Mm -mm. Everybody's mm -mm. not an owner of a team either, though. Good point. Or a quarterback of a team. Or a quarterback. That'd of be a the team. problem too. Sometimes um, uh, some of these dudes just can't lead right. Mm -mm. Uh, a lot of people don't understand that when you hear women say, "I need a man who's going to be able to lead me," bruh, she's not talking about like, "Hey, do what I say." 
No. That's not what she's talking about. Ladies, that's, not, that's not that's not that's what, not that's not what submission is. And matter of fact, just for just for hot topic, right? Mm -hmm. I heard me say the strongest woman, it takes a strong woman to submit to her man so that they could be in a loving joint relationship. It takes a less than strong woman to oppose mm -hmm. submission. Absolutely. And to add on to that, a lot of people on both sides need to understand that feminine energy is just as strong as masculine energy. Let me tell you what I mean by that. I'm going to give you an example because mostly everybody should have either been in this situation or seen it. You ever seen two dudes fight? I have. And you ever seen the smallest woman in the group come and break that fight up? Mm, a few times. I've seen that before, right? And, 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 okay, not necessarily the smallest woman, but any woman. Any woman can get in between two men and break them up for fighting. Because even in a rage, neither one of these men want to accidentally hit this woman. In a full, complete rage. I'm talking sensible about... Men. Yes. Sensible men. Sensible. Sensible. Right, yeah. right. If you fighting somebody and the woman like, hey, y'all, come on, y'all chill out. Even a crazy, wild out dude is going to try to swing around that woman. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, flip that around. Can a man, one man, break up two women from fighting? No. No. They're going to be three. punching through that man. Or him too. They're going to be thinking, you in the way. And you a man. We swinging. That's feminine energy, y'all. A feminine woman, a soft woman, a well-spoken, whatever. Just feminine energy, period. She can walk in between two men, two thugs, guns and all, if she was that brave enough to do that. Don't do it. Don't do that, but I'm just saying. I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it, bro. Walk right in the middle. Hey, y'all chill out, you know, and, and, and talk to them soft and shit. Mm -hmm. And it worked, y'all. I'm telling you. And dude was like, man, y'all lucky she here. Yeah. That's feminine energy right there. If I make a decision in the house and my wife don't like that decision, you think she just going to sit there and be quiet? Hmm. No. No. She, and, and, and I'm not saying she's going to come to me and blow up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but she's going to come to me and we're going to talk. You know, she'll be like, hey, look, you know, how about, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. And then we compromise about it. You see, and that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Don't be thinking that leading, when a man is leading, don't think that everything he says is just law. Just absolute law, and he's gonna disrespect you and treat you like a servant or something. No, that's not that's not what a man leading is. That's not love. That's that, not respect, right, exactly. That's not leading, no. That's not partnership. Nope. That's not togetherness. Right. That's not a team. That's nope. not an effort. That's just somebody who would talk wrong. That's somebody who would talk wrong. You gotta understand what it is to be. That's me, myself, and I. Hmm. Because it's all right. It's all about me, all about what I say. And this sometimes this can be on both sides because you have a lot of dudes who may be passive and just let their wife leave. Okay, well, if that's the case, she on the outside. On the outside, right. On the outside. And if that's the case, no matter she what, has to be careful with that energy on at the outside. The end of the day, if he say lock it down, she stopped doing that. If that's the nature they right the nature of the, uh, of the um, arrangement or relationship now a lot of celebrities i think is where this misconception comes from mm. because you've got a lot of male celebrities that take this dominant lead and they have this dominant force in front of camera mm -hmm. behind the camera mm -hmm. and when they break up they hear about all these war stories about how this man mistreated his woman right or they have the vice versa where they have this woman personality that's so dominant that when when these two break up all the people can say oh he was a real punk right he, he, right. he just let her run all over him yep yep that's it and that's it that's all that's and it's like y'all don't get it that's why when you when you see videos about um young ladies saying they don't want to be married they want the kids and they don't want to be married and I ain't, I ain't talking about the single parents though that's a whole nother conversation but it's just like why? Why? Where are these thoughts coming from? Like, it's like, y'all don't understand. Like, y'all are really setting yourself up for a whole lot of obstacles to be in your life that don't have to be there. True. But you know what? Let's leave it right there. Um, I'm your host. This dysfunctional. Dysfunctional's world. All right. I'm your boy. Virgo in the building. Virgo AKA. Game. Mr. Let's Talk, V Let's Gang. Talk, V Gang. We out of time. Till the next time. Screaming Let's Talk. Peace. Peace.